Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy and today I'll be reviewing the Siberian Husky. Okay, the Siberian Husky, very popular and cool dog. Not as cool as this shirt that my wife bought me, by the way. Sweetheart, if you don't want to buy me clothes anymore, just let me know. You don't have to keep buying me shirts this color. All right, thanks, sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the Siberian Husky originated from Northeast Asia, Siberia, and were originally used as a sled pulling dog, as a working dog. Now, today's Huskies pretty much do the same thing. A lot of people still use them to this day, whether it be for work, recreation, competitions, things like that, and a slew of other winter activities as well. They're a medium to large sized dog, males getting anywhere between 40 and 50 pounds in that range, females a little bit less. So not a very big dog and certainly not a tiny dog. This is a dog that does really well in the winter time, really good outside in the cold. They will outlast you outside any day. It doesn't matter how many pairs of long johns you put on, these guys will definitely outlast you outside. Like I said, these guys have a very thick double coat on them, which do shed quite a bit. Mostly in the springtime when they're blowing their coats and the weather starts to get warm, that undercoat really starts to shed and you'll just see clumps of hair flying around your house. Which can get a little frustrating for some people, but just think about all the birds and the bird's nests that could be made. So just stay on top of their brushing and it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Very wolf-like looking dog, beautiful blue eyes. Now not all have the blue eyes, some have one, some just have the brown, some have two blue eyes. It varies, but a lot of the times, very common in these guys, you're going to see blue eyes. All right, let's get into the review. Let's start off with health. Very, very healthy breed, these guys. Not a lot of health issues. Unlike a lot of the dogs I've reviewed recently, hip dysplasia is not common in Huskies. Out of a study of 160 dogs, Huskies came in 155. That's really good. So it's not very common in the breed. That's a great thing. Most of their health issues are going to come from their eyes. That's the most common that I see with these guys. Glaucoma being the most common of the dogs that I've worked with. Uh, where a dog sometimes has to even have an eye removed. Other than that, they really don't have a whole lot of health issues, which is really great. They, they live to be about 12 to 14 years, great long lifespan. I would say for these guys, the main thing is to make sure that they stay healthy, which is through diet and exercise, giving them the right foods and giving them plenty of exercise, which we'll get into. So you really want to keep a good eye on their eyes. I don't know, it's, you do, because they are known to have eye problems. So if you notice anything wrong with them, if the dog seems to be in any sort of pain or the eye looks any different, you want to get him to the vet right away because it could be something that you could prevent from getting worse. So the health for me is very easy, very healthy dog, five out of five. Okay, so let's get into temperament. Now, I find these dogs to be a very outgoing, playful, funny, super friendly dog. Now, I've worked with a lot of Huskies in my time. I've never dealt with any aggression in Huskies. Not with other dogs, not with people, nothing. I find these guys to be very good family dogs, great with kids, great with other dogs, great with people. They're a boisterous breed. They jump around, they bounce around. Not like her right now, she's tired. But a very sweet dog, very patient with little kids. Not a very nervous dog. Don't see a lot of anxieties in these guys. Any behavioral issues with Huskies, I attribute to lack of exercise. That's it. If they don't get enough exercise, sure, they're going to remodel your house. You know, giving them the right amount of exercise and outlet for their energy, these guys do really well. I'm going to give them a five for temperament. All right, let's get into activity. Now, these guys are great dogs for people who like to hike long distances and at the same time screaming their dog's name. Vila! These guys love to get out and get away. These dogs are escape artists. They see an open door, you give them an inch, they're gonna run a mile. I'm telling you right now, if you don't secure your doors, these guys will get out, they'll find a way out. These are not dogs you can leave in a fence in the backyard unattended. I don't care how high your fence is, they'll figure it out. These guys are master escape artists. Now, it's not a guarantee, not all Huskies do, but it's very rare to see a Husky that can be off leash and not bolt and take off. These guys love to explore. They have a very strong wild instinct, very strong working instinct. There are calls out there that have like a GPS tracker on it, my wife has one for me, it's on my ankle right now. Um, it's fine, I don't even feel it anymore. It's just, it's just kind of like part of, my, part of my body at this point. But what they do is, is if the dog does get away, hopefully not because I'm sure it's, it would be terrifying for you, but I would say that you want to have a backup plan in place if it does happen. So if you're an active person who likes to, again, go for long hikes, I'm joking when I say scream for your dog, but you might want to warm your voice up and do that because it's probably going to have to happen. They're a great dog for hikers. If you love to hike, Huskies are an awesome dog for that. They can go for a long time. They can go in almost any weather condition. Obviously, the heat, you want to be very careful of. Skijoring is, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's just the way I say it, skijoring. It's where you take like a harness, you wear a harness, clip the dog to it, and you put on a pair of cross-country skis and have them pull you down a trail. They have races. Uh, people just do it for, for fun, for recreation. I tried it one time. My boots shattered in front of a crowd of people, and then I had to hop back with one ski on. First time I ever having skis on in my life, by the way, uh, while my wife laughed at me the entire time. So that was great. So she got a good laugh out of it, so it was good. So it ended up being a great day. Uh, also, dog sledding. So again, if you're into these type of sports, sledding, biking, hiking, jogging, these make a great fit for you. They're a really good dog, and they need to do it. 
and this is a dog that needs daily exercise. You have to do it all the time. You can't be, these are not weekend warrior dogs where you work 80 hours a week and then you have the weekends off and then you make up for it. It doesn't work that way, it won't work. Really not the best way to do it with these guys. They need, they need consistent exercise throughout the week every single day. So for activity for these guys, I'm gonna give them a five. Okay, so let's get into trainability. Very highly trainable dog, very smart. They can learn a multitude of different tricks, commands, especially when it comes to things like working and all that. Just think of a sled dog team and how wrong that could go, right? How, if they didn't follow the command of the musher. And that's a great title, I wish I was a musher. What do you do? I'm a musher. What about you? Uh, an accountant. How cool would that be? But just think for a minute, all the commands that they have to learn from that musher, and if they didn't follow them, what would happen? I mean, it would, be a, it would be an absolute disaster, right? So, very smart dog. I would say the only issue with training for these guys, again, they are escape artists. They are dogs that will run off on you if they happen to pop off leash, or, or if somebody leaves a gate open and they run out, and you call them, they're not necessarily gonna come right back. Their brain is in just go mode. They're just like, let's do it, I'm out of here, see you later, okay? Other than that, that's really the only issue with these guys. They can learn just so many different things. Most of the time, they're gonna be very obedient. I'm gonna give them a four for training. All right, so that's the Siberian Husky. This is Mila, same letters in her name as my name, so just a nice respectful nod by their owners. Uh, naming her after Mila is really cool. Uh, flatted, great dog, great breed for the right people. So we'll go over pros real quick with these guys. Very smart, loving, great family dogs. Great as a companion dog for somebody who doesn't have a family. If you live alone, these make a great pet for you. Again, if you're active, if you like to be out and you like to be active, especially when the weather's cold. Not a dog for wimps, okay? Really gotta get out there in the cold with these guys in the winter for a long period of time. But if you're somebody who's into that stuff, great fit for you. A lot of pros to these dogs. Some cons for some people might be definitely their activity level. Also their coats, they do shed quite a bit. Very heavy shedding dog. Other than that, a lot of good things to say about the Husky. Really like these guys a lot, very popular dogs. I know a lot of you guys asked me to do this review, thank you. And uh, really enjoying seeing a lot of your comments and, and suggestions, some really cool ones, some, some ones that I didn't really think about doing that I'm uh, really excited to do now. So it's, it's really cool, I love doing that. I love to be able to talk about these dogs. Again, I'm doing these videos to help people pick the right breed for them. People oftentimes will go off of looks and when they do that, they end up getting the wrong dog, the wrong fit for their family or themselves, and they end up having to give the dog away or put it into a shelter. And I wanna limit that. I wanna try to see if by doing these videos it will help cut down on that. By people seeing this and saying, oh, maybe that Husky isn't for us. Or maybe a better fit for me will be like a, a Pomeranian or something like that, okay? Because you see a lot of these guys in shelters. You see a lot of Huskies in shelters. So they're a great dog. If you check the shelters, you're almost guaranteed to find yourself a good Husky. Look up the you know Husky rescue groups and things like that. You can find a lot of these guys because people do that a lot. They see this beautiful dog with beautiful blue eyes, striking mockings, looks like a wolf, and they think, this is the right dog for us. Don't do their research. Get the dog, and they realize it's just too much for them. It's just too much, and that happens quite a bit with Huskies. It's unfortunate, but it does happen a lot. So again, my advice to anybody, if you're looking to get a dog, whether it be a Husky, a Bloodhound, a Bernice Mountain Dog, whatever the case, be realistic. Look at the facts of the dog, and is it the right fit for you? If it is, great. If it's not, don't do it. Don't think that you can. Be honest with yourself. Just make sure you do your research and you get the right dog for you, and you be honest, that's all. You know, and then everybody's happy. All right, guys, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me rant at the end there for a little bit. Guys, you've been doing so well sharing these videos, liking them. I really appreciate it. Can't thank you enough. I absolutely love reading the comments and hearing from you guys, but a lot of really good stuff, really a lot of positive things makes me feel really good about what I'm doing and makes me want to do more of these. So again, thank you so much. All right, so I hope you guys are having a fantastic day with your dogs. Again, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Cause I'm for my soul.